Hi guys, welcome back to another unboxing video and today is one of those special days. I got my pink on today. Can you have a guess what colour bag I've got in this box? That's right. Oh, it's on the side. Let's open it. Let's get right into it guys. Are we ready? She is so cute. OMG. This is the Birkin 25. I really like this size. It looks huge on screen, but in actual fact, you'll see in the mod shots a bit later, it's not. This is this gorgeous kind of bubblegum, pinky purpley color. I believe the color is called Mauve Sylvester, um, which is a purpley pink color. You can tell by the fact that my jacket is a baby pink, that it's not quite um, a baby pink color. It's got a little bit more cooler tones. I thought this match with the Palladium hardware is absolutely stunning. This combination is beautiful. This is in the Epsom leather as well, guys. The very first Birkin I have received with an Epsom leather. And I will say, I have hesitated getting Epsom for such a long time because I didn't think that I would like it. I thought it would be kind of scratch resistant, that kind of uh, the Safriano leather. I thought it would be like that, but I'm completely wrong, guys. This feels similar to Togo leather, but it has more structure. And when I put this up to my other 25 in the Togo leather, which I will show you guys a little bit later. So sorry, this is not the first 25 I've received. I've received the um, Cray one in the Togo leather, but this is the first one I've received with the Epsom leather. So I get confused because I actually ordered this one before I ordered the other one. So to me, this is the first one that I ordered, but I didn't, I got this one later because this had to be made. Anyway, the leather is really structured, but not super stiff, which I really, really like. It's going to hold its shape so nicely, I think. Um, the stitching is absolutely stunning. Okay, I'm going to undress her for you guys. There she is. This is how I like to wear my Birkins. I like the flap tucked in so I can easily access the inside and the sh shangles just clipped up like that. You can see I have left the stickers on and I will be leaving the stickers on for a little while yet. Um, I like to give it a second life once I take it off in a couple of months. I don't leave them on for too long as I know it does oxidize and can cause some issues, but I um, like to leave it on for just a little bit longer. Um, also, the inside is absolutely gorgeous. It's in the same color. Um, a different leather though, it's sort of like more of a grain type of a leather. Um, it's got all the right um, key points with the MS uh, on the zipper pull and also the H stop as well on the inside of the zipper and also the logo on the inside as well. The piping of this bag is like a brown, a mid brown color. Um, which you guys can see there. Really, really beautiful. The stitching as well on the back is really beautiful also. I'm also going to show you the inside as best I can. This is going to be really hard to show you the zipper and the zipper pull, but there's a H zipper pull there. Zipper stop and then the zipper pull says MS on it. There's a slip pocket as well on the internals, but I have known for a really long time that I would get a Birkin 25 in a pink color. I didn't know what pink color. I was actually originally after the Sakura pink color, but that one was not available. Um, so I opted for this one and man, I do not regret it one single bit. Absolutely adoring this color. Um, and I thought I would, it's a really good match to my shirt. I think the tones are really similar. Whereas on this pink, it's not quite 
the same but I think the shirt kind of brings in the right sort of tones. If you're liking this video guys be sure to subscribe to my channel. I do two videos a week on fashion and handbags. You guys may have noticed that behind me my shelves are looking a little bit light on compared to other videos and that is because I am moving. So I am moving in a couple of weeks and I've decided to start packing my bags down just because it'll be much easier when it gets closer to the time I move. So I'm on a bit of a skeleton staff at the moment in the background um, but they will soon be packed away as well in the next week so I will have a brand new studio very very soon okay now I'm gonna get into some comparisons now and the first bag I want to compare to this Birkin 25 in Mo Sylvester is my other Birkin 25 um, in the color cray the reason why I want to compare these two is because they are different leathers now, if you look at these carefully, you will see a little bit of drooping happening here. Now, this is a fairly new bag, guys. So you guys might have seen me unbox this one on my channel. Um, it's, it's a little bit droopy because the leather is a lot softer because it's the Togo leather. Now, you'll see this one is not as droopy. Very kind of stiff, but not too stiff. Um, and that's because that's in the um, Epsom leather. Now, I was never a fan of the Epsom leather. I'm going to tell you the truth. I have steered away from it for many, many years. But when I saw this color, I couldn't resist. And so I got this in the Epsom leather. And man, boy, was I wrong. Boy, was I wrong. I absolutely love this leather now. I can see why people choose it. It's such a durable leather and it's going to wear really, really well. Whereas the Cray, even though it's, this is in a small size, you know, it's in the size 25. If this was in the larger sizes, like the 30 or the 35, and I will show a 30 in a second, these would really mold and change shape over time because the leather is so soft. Now, some people like that. And a part of me likes that too, a used Birkin. I think there is something really beautiful about that. Um, the fact that it's been lovingly worn. I'm going to show you guys up close. You can see the leathers up close. The Epsom, what you can't see is that it's harder. It's actually a little bit stiffer and a little bit harder compared to the Togo leather in the Cray. So everything else is exactly the same. They're both in the Palladium hardware. Um, I think, I mean, I really, I love this combination so much. It's one of those things that you don't realize until you actually get it in and you go, oh my God, I really love it. I think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this Birkin, this pink Birkin. Um, it, and this one's a neutral too, but you guys know I love me some color. I love me some color. Let's get into the next comparison. The next comparison I'm going to do with the Birkin 25 is the Birkin 30. Um, it will only be two comparisons today because as you guys can see, it's a little bit light on in the back there. I don't have a lot of bags to compare the Birkin 25 to, um, but you can see the sizing is so different. Um, do you like my little gorgeous charm that I bought? I bought it from DH Gate and it is super cute and I absolutely love it. It just stops me from putting the shangles on the hooks though because the, the um, keychain is on the hook, but never mind. I'm loving it for now. This is in the gold hardware uh, um, and I can't remember the color. Um, I'll put it on screen for you guys. It's a really um, unusual red color. It's sort of like an orangey red. You can sort of see the difference there in the sizing. Very, very different sizing. The Birkin 30 is a really big bag, guys. It is a quite, well, it's a, it's a, I would say it's a large bag, you know, medium to large bag. Um, you know, if you're sort of looking at hand holding it and that sort of thing, depending on your size, of course, if you are super tall, um, then this may not feel so big but for me I'm quite a shorty at only 5'3 so I find this bag sort of large looking on me but you can see there the comparisons between both of these bags now one last comparison I wasn't going to do one more but this one is a very similar size so I'm going to compare to the trendy CC you can see here that 
they're very sort of similar in size um, and similar in width as well. I do feel like you could get more in the Birkin 25 only because you've got that flat wide bottom and it's not split. Let me just move this. It's not split up into three accordion pockets. Really, really spacious. For a small bag, the Birkin 25 being a small bag, I think it is quite spacious. And I fit quite a lot in it. But that just gives you a bit of a comparison with the Trendy CC. If you're loving this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also head to my Instagram. I'm super prominent on there. I spoke about this bag probably two months ago and you guys are like, when is it coming in, Naomi? When is it coming in? So it's always great to have a conversation with me over there. I'm super prominent. Now I'm going to head into the mod shots now and show you guys how this looks on my frame. I'm just wearing this outfit with the basic jeans and a shirt and this gorgeous pink blazer just to tie all the colors in together. And I think this is how I'll be wearing this bag a lot, particularly if I'm going to lunch or brunch, um, casual Fridays, etc. I always like to dress up a little bit with a blazer, so I think it is a really nice touch. But let's be honest guys, this bag does all the talking. You could wear an all white tracksuit and this bag would still look stunning. So there's nothing more I can really say but the fact that you basically were just hand holding this bag. It does not have a shoulder strap, it does not have a crossbody strap or anything like that. Um, so it's only held in the hand like this or in the wrist i wouldn't even say in the crook of the arm because i cannot get it further than the wrist so that is just my take on this bag if you guys have smaller hands than me then maybe you guys can get it further up but for me it does not go very very far so it's just for me holding it like this and carrying it places the birkin is not for all occasions i don't feel um, in my personal opinion, it is not a bag that is great for running errands. It's not a bag that is great for traveling hands-free, running, catching trains, etc. I don't believe the Birkins for that. For me, I live a very closed lifestyle. You know, I pretty much work from home most days. Whenever I go out, it's a quick stop out to the shop to get supplies or something that I need for work and then I sort of come home. Um, I'm sort of going into the car and then coming back into a shop, coming back to the car. So little short stops where the Birkin like this would just, it just works um, for my kind of lifestyle. Now, I'll probably have a lot of you guys that maybe wear Birkins day in, day out and just use it every day. Um, I guess I'm just talking about my own lifestyle, my own experience, and that's how I'm sort of relating it. If I was running around town a lot and I had a lot of things to do, I'm not sure if I would actually carry this bag. I'd probably swap it out for something that has a crossbody just to make it a bit easier for me. There you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. What do you think of my new little baby Birkin 25 in the Mauve Sylvester? Do you love it as much as I do? Do you think you would be able to wear this color? And what would you wear it with? I'm thinking white. I'm thinking grays. I'm thinking jeans and a t-shirt. I'm thinking a lot of basic outfits would look amazing with this being just that little pop of color. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope to see you next time in my next video. Bye for now.